Hi, I'm Harrison Meacham. Today, I will be performing two monologues for you. The first is from The Glass Menagerie by Tennessee Williams, and the second is from Every 17 Minutes the Crowd Goes Crazy by Paul Zendel. Listen, you think I'm crazy about the warehouse? You think I'm in love with the Continental Shoemakers? You think I want to spend 55 years down there in that Celtics interior with fluorescence tubes? Look, I'd rather have somebody pick up a crowbar and batter my brains out than go back mornings. I go. And every time you come in yelling that, rise and shine, rise and shine, I think to myself how lucky dead people are. But I go. $65 a month, I give up everything I've ever dreamed of being or doing, ever. And you, you say self, self's all I ever think about? Listen, if self was all I ever thought about, mother, then I'd be where father is, gone. As far as the system of transportation reaches. The only thing I noticed different about my mother is the way she would sit around the house crying a lot, which I suppose is unusual for a psychotherapist. <laughs> she was obsessed with the case history of this one child patient she had. She kept printing out copies of it and leaving it around our breakfast table and at the neighborhood ashrams and at the supermarkets. And there was something horrible that had happened to this 10-year-old boy at Christmas. His parents were loaded. Filthy rich. His dad was a Hollywood producer. His mom, a mutual funds feminist. And they wanted to surprise their son with the greatest Christmas ever, so they bought him wonderful things. A Schwinn 10 speed, rollerblades, a lot of electric train set, skis, a sled, a tennis racket, a dog, candy, a BB gun pistol, a Swiss army knife, a Christmas tree flooded with gift wrap boxes and bows and tinsel everywhere, a living room crammed with presents and candy canes. They created this dream for their son, and on Christmas morning, their son came down the stairs. His 10-year-old boy saw this fantasy their parents, his parents had bought him. And he burst into tears. What's the matter, son? His father cried out, rushing to him, holding him, hugging him. Is there something you don't see? Is there something you had your heart set on that you don't see? And his son, wailing. Dear said, I don't know, but there could be, there could be. And that's when his father took back his hand and slapped his son with all his might. He slapped him and slapped him and slapped him.